Let's go. Nicholas McGee's reporting CNN student news here with um, the equestrians who's going to be walking with the White House today. Is that correct? Yes. So what is, what is your statement? Go America. Yeah, USA. That's USA. Nicholas McGee's reporting CNN student news. Thank you guys for your service. Yeah, no problem. Thank Nicholas McGee's reporting CNN hour for the mission. Also took a photo okay. with the congressman uh, from Texas. Uh, 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 He's ranked Forbes magazine's second most powerful man in the world, and of course he knows me, Nicholas McGee's, because I hold will hold a lot of letters from him. I would like to wish everyone at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue a happy Thanksgiving, and of course First Lady Michelle Obama. I see you smiling now at Princess Beatrix elected Memphis board friend. I always make you laugh as the White House world is Republican of the United States. At any rate, I would like to wish a happy Thanksgiving to everyone around the world, especially Commonwealth nations who celebrate Thanksgiving. We had a blessed year this year, and of course I am honored to be um, to share my blessings with everyone that I know the second most powerful man in the world. How influential is Nicholas Pegues? Where Nicholas Pegues is, of course, called the second superpower to the free world. Nicholas Pegues reporting corporate appreciation to everyone at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue in the White House Road. It's, of course, loves Princess Beatrix because I am Princess Beatrix, the elected American boyfriend, and I really love original Memphis. Be a be a Princess Beatrix, New York. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. So Nicholas McGee's reporting, Princess Beatrix is your elected Memphis boyfriend speaking. I want to share a magical message on behalf of 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue to Princess Beatrix of York. And of course, we wish her and everybody in the royal family a magical Thanksgiving because of course, Commonwealth nations do celebrate Thanksgiving as well. Nicholas McGee's reporting, Princess Beatrix is your elected Memphis boyfriend speaking. Happy Thanksgiving to all the Commonwealth nations that celebrate Thanksgiving and of course to my Facebook friends and fans from around the world. Nicholas Pegues reporting a magical Thanksgiving 2014 with the White House. So Nicholas Pegues reporting Princess Beatrix is your elected Memphis boyfriend speaking. I want to share a magical message on behalf of 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue to Princess Beatrix of York and of course we wish her and everybody in the royal family a magical Thanksgiving because of course Commonwealth nations do celebrate Thanksgiving as well. Nicholas Pegues reporting Princess Beatrix is your elected Memphis boyfriend speaking. Happy Thanksgiving to all the Commonwealth nations that celebrate Thanksgiving and of course to my Facebook friends and fans from around the world. Nicholas Pegues reporting a magical Thanksgiving 2014 with the White House. So Nicholas Pegues reporting Princess Beatrix is your elected American boyfriend speaking and your elected Mrs. boyfriend speaking. First I'd like to wish everyone around the world a magical Thanksgiving of course and of course I'm devoting all of my service regarding me as a presidential blogger um, you know, so the Tennessee Republican Party and the George W. Bush Presidential Library and Museum because I love um, President George W. Bush. He is my most favorite president. And of course, you know, I believe in innovation. And of course, I am supported by the Obama administration regarding this subject. So I am very diverse. I believe in diversity in American politics. And I believe in um, the community, the spirit of the Memphis community. And of course, our governments around the world, I believe in diversity. So it is approved by the Obama administration as well as the George W. Bush Presidential Center. So here is the unopened letter, of course, that I have not opened for months of former President George W. Bush from the George W. Bush Presidential Library. And I have not opened this letter for like five months now. So I'd like to wish a happy Thanksgiving to former President George W. Bush and of course to everyone at the White House. Now, I still have another unopened letter from 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue right now, so I'd like to wish everyone at the White House a happy Thanksgiving as well, Nicholas Pedis Thanksgiving special. And of course, I have another unopened letter from the White House. So these are three unopened letters. How magical is this? In the possession of Nicholas Pedis, wishing everyone around the world and those who represent our free world a happy Thanksgiving. 2014 as a descendant of the Victorian Village College Chapel Historic District. Now, I also like to express, you know, Nicholas Pedis is becoming quite an elder in politics. And, you know, that's quite unique for me being only in my mid-20s to be an elder in politics. How many times have I been in the presence of the President and Mrs. Obama and, of course, the President and Mrs. Bush and or any world leaders? It's been a lot of times. 
So Nicholas Pegues has documented, I've documented like five or six times I've been in the presence of someone that was a presidential candidate, whether it was Mitt Romney or Paul Ryan or former President George W. Bush, or of course, anyone in the Obama administration. Nicholas Pegues is becoming a political elder. And of course, I am called the second superpower in the 21st century. So Nicholas Pegues is quite influential in the world. And you know, it is a blessing. And I am thankful to have that blessing to be in the presence of such, um, you know, so, so many world leaders at such an early age. And not just that, how many people actually can meet or be in the presence of the president one time? I was in his presence like four or five times, only Nicholas Pegues. Many blessings to the president and Mrs. Obama. Many blessings to the president and Mrs. Bush. Many blessings to George H.W. Bush and Barbara Bush, um, of course. And of course, many blessings to the president and Ms. Um, Carter. Nicholas Pegues reporting, I love everyone, I love humanity, and my service will be devoted to the Tennessee Republican Party and the George W. Bush Presidential Center, my service in Tennessee regarding the White House, because we are a Republican state, and of course, I'm always diverse. I love representing the White House and my generation in the 21st century. I also like to express and attach to this video the many times that I've been in the presence of the President and Mrs. Obama, or of course, the President and Mrs. Bush. How many times have I met these world leaders? I've kind of like five or six times. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Nicholas Fugues important. Princess Beatrice is this your elected American boyfriend speaking and your elected Mrs. Boyfriend speaking. Wishing everyone a magical, magical, magical Thanksgiving. Thank you, everyone. Nicholas Fugues supporting CNN Hour for the Mrs. also known as the governor, documenting First Lady Michelle Obama arriving here to the elementary school. Nicholas Pegues reporting, also known as the governor, seen in our report on this. Fortunately, I was supposed to be on the inside, but right now I'm on the outside. It's a little few minutes late. It's still pretty cool. Regarding her Let's Move campaign. United States. And this was a private event, an invitation only event, that I unfortunately missed. Nicholas Pegues reporting, also known as the governor. Nicholas Pegues reporting, bringing on arrival of former President George W. Bush here in East Memphis. Pegues reporting, seen in our report on this. Nicholas Pegues reporting, CNN Hour Report. Well, I was a delegate to the Democratic Convention and I wanted to honor our president. So Nicholas Pegues reporting, CNN Hour Report. I'm in. Also known as the governor for Tennessee Governor. Nicholas Pegues reporting, how did you feel with traveling President Obama today? Uh, it was fantastic to get to spend a few minutes with the president. That's a uh, uh, once in a lifetime Job. I'm trying to bring more love back to Tennessee politics, so that's what we need, more Thank love. Thank you. Our report. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to have to sharpen our competitive edge and global job market us. You know, two years ago, Nicholas Pegues was talking about the Tennessee Republican Party and the 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 Republican Party Bring business leaders from around the world, and I'm going to connect them to state leaders and local leaders like the mayor. So, uh, <laughs> hey, hey, welcome to Tennessee, hey, Andrew. Hey. Thank you. Have a blessed one. Thank you. you. Too. Nice to see you.
reporting Prince Harry here in Memphis, Tennessee and of course Princess Beatrix I am your elected American boyfriend promoted on Facebook Nicholas Beatrix reporter there he comes Right behind the Nicholas Reese reporting. Seen in Icon of Memphis. There he is. Nicholas Reese reporting. Princess Beatrix is his elected American boyfriend. Documenting this. It was Prince Harry. Awesome, awesome. Nicholas McGee's reporting. All right. And here we are in Memphis, Tennessee. Nicholas McGee's reporting. Documenting Prince William and Prince Harry on Nicholas McGee's. God save the Queen. And Princess Beatrix, I am your elected American boyfriend. Only on Nicholas McGee's. CNN Icon of Memphis. Excuse me.